you doing? Yes, I'm doing fine. How are you, Vadam? Yeah, I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. And uh, before we move in or before we jump into our conversation, let's just have a quick introduction. <laughs> so I want to know about you. Uh, yes, I am Mr. Shantanu Goshat. I'm connecting you from the Calcutta, that is the uh, yeah in the state of the West Bengal. I am a working professional. Uh, well, we are the four members uh, in my family: me, my daughter, my wife, and my mother. Uh, and my uh, as far as my hobby is concerned, that I am uh, I love to listen the uh, I love to listen the music that is definitely the oldest music, not the current current era's music, because uh, these are really uh, not eyes uh, ear soothing also. So mm -hmm. and uh, and uh, in the and uh, another other hobby is mine to read the good books. This is the brief introduction about me. Okay, that's wonderful to know about you, Mr. Shantanu. Right? I, am I pronouncing it correctly? Yes, you are. You are right. Okay. You are right. It is so, okay. Uh, fine. And uh, music is something that soothes my soul. And of course, when we are talking about music, how can we miss about our uh, 90s or 80s music? Uh, so that, right. that was a different scenario, I would say. So yes, I am also a fan of uh, music. Bollywood, uh, Hindi, Bollywood music or uh, Lata Ji, Yasha Ji, Kishore Kumar, Muhammad Rafi and all these singers, they were just ultimate, I would say. So that's about me. The, uh, uh, the, those are the singers. Uh, uh, they are the famous of the Indian singers because uh, uh, these singers, whatever songs they have produced, uh, I think that uh, uh, India India cannot be produced uh, such type of songs in the hundred years. Actually, nowadays exactly. I say I found the singers do not have any melody in their voice. Actually, uh, there are uh, there, uh, there are some singers uh, I can name the Udit Naranji. Uh, uh, he is mm. a very good singer. Uh, but yes. apart from Udit Naranji, KK, and uh, and uh, some uh, Kumar Shanu, uh, uh, Sonu Nigam, mm. but uh, mm. but uh, there are there are the uh, so many singers in the Indian nowadays. Uh, so, uh, yes. They are they are not the as as melodious. Their voice are not as melodious as the previous uh, years. The, the singers are yes. well. So, right, uh, right, yes. I, I completely uh, see eye to eye, whatever you mentioned here. And actually, these days, it's all about social media. So anyone who just uh, wants to sing or people have uh, singing, actually, some some just have that hobby of singing. So everyone just comes up with their hobbies uh, on Internet. Everyone is just trying to sing. But the thing is, singing is not only about humming or about just uh, singing uh, those given line. Uh, music is kind of, I would say, it's an emotion. And if we talk about all those singers, they, I would say, they have lived music. Nowadays, uh, by remixing all those songs, people are killing the soul of right. music. Right. If the, if the, <laughs> so, if the, if the, uh, if the uh, if the music if the uh, music do not touch the heart if uh, if it do not yes. become the uh, if it do not become the heart catchy then then mm -hmm. uh, yeah it will not it will not give uh, give you the uh, soothing feeling uh, in your ear yes. so uh, it will create okay. the pain it will create the pain and uh, you will not love to listen the songs uh, uh, yes so yes and people are composing anything anything uh, in the name anything. of music there are some yeah. lyrics which we can't even uh, listen to those lyrics with our family, with our parents or with our kids. Because those are very, uh, I would say nowadays, uh, people are composing anything, anything. And we uh, we cannot listen, uh, hear, we cannot or listen to those songs with our family members. So yes, I would say that, I don't know where the, what is the direction or uh, in which direction people are going on these days. Yes, there are also good composers. We can't deny, but uh, uh, very few. <laughs> um, very ratio few, is very, very few. few. You are, you are yes. correct, madam. Uh, there are very few the composers uh, uh, whom the people love. Uh, and, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and the songs are, uh, you cannot, uh, you cannot find any interest to listen to these songs. Yes. Uh, uh, <clears throat> Right, right, that's it. 
So uh, I just want to know a little bit uh, what uh, brings you here. Do you uh, have? Do you uh, yourself run a YouTube channel? No, 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 no. I do not run any other YouTube channel uh, uh, because uh, nowadays I found that myself uh, while I go to speak in English, I do stammer a lot because because of the lack of the conversation. Uh, but uh, but but uh, the, the the case is totally different, madam. When I go to write, that time uh, I do not uh, I do not feel much trouble because uh, because mm. it is a habit. Actually, I think the more we converse, the the better we can. No, it is it is applicable. to me i am not telling the everybody about the more i can converse a better i can so uh, so yes. now now i have to discover myself that uh, yeah it is a, it is my drawback it is a one of my drawbacks that uh, i cannot speak uh, english fluently so in order to hone my skill english speaking skills i have uh, the, i have invited a uh, conversation with uh, so many partners and uh, i uh, rightly I mean, right now i am also taking classes on the clapping go english theory uh, yeah uh, okay. in this platform also i am with involved uh, so that uh, so that my uh, english fluency uh, is brushed up and uh, mm-hmm. and i can take my fluency level where i i am uh, desiring to uh, take it so uh, uh, okay. yeah, uh, within this intention i have uh, and i also found when uh, you are also using very good phrases and uh, very new idioms that is why i have grown uh, interest to have a conversation with you so that i can learn something from you uh, in order to develop myself so this is the case that is why uh, i am uh, sitting in front of you uh within a intention to learn some new things from uh, from you uh, uh which will be helpful to me uh, yeah in my english speaking journey okay okay that's uh, i would say first of all thank you so much and uh, second thing yes i can see you uh, are speaking very confidently and uh, the thing as you mentioned that lack of environment actually this is the biggest hurdle if i talk about we indian people because of course it's not our first language and if i tell uh, about uh, if i talk about myself uh, in my case it's my third language because uh, first we have himachali then comes hindi and then comes english and uh, being a homemaker there are so many things uh, which uh, uh, restrict myself to be a i would say polish uh, india uh, english speaker because i don't step out the biggest drawback in my case though i interact people online uh, though i take online sessions also but the thing is until and unless you are stepping out you are having those kind of exposures you don't feel that much comfortable with this language and that was the uh, hardest thing uh, for me uh, to do and but the thing is i am a, i consider myself an english language enthusiast and i would say that i am uh, i am stubborn when it comes to learn anything i uh, i have that strong mindset so that's the reason i uh, tried to groom myself yes there was a time when i i uh, had that fear that my vocabulary is kind of old version but uh, i am a biggest lover of idioms and phrases uh, and then i uh, then i encountered uh, so many things actually i would say but i i just want to tell you or i want to wrap my thing in uh, one line that before we jump into more fancy words or idioms and phrases first we should be comfortable with this language then once you are comfortable once you are able to speak in that rhythm eventually everything is going to follow be it synonyms or idioms or phrases and you as you mentioned that you are taking sessions with clappingo and with english yari also you are having these kind of conversation so you already are on a right track so keep keep on uh, doing the same thing because it demands only consistency and practice that's it yes yes obviously 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 the consistency and the practice uh, that uh, that the that yes. the, uh, the uh, these are the things makes one perfect <clears throat> I, yes i also believe in this case but but uh, in our in our state uh, that is uh, we do hardly find any opportunity to converse uh, in english with our colleagues in our neighborhood mm-hmm. so so that is why 
uh, I am not uh, having the too much exposure in this language. So in order to uh, broaden, to uh, uh, to uh, uh, enhance the enhance the uh, the exposure exposure in this uh, in this area of the English, I am just trying to converse more uh, <coughs> with the with the partners and the core learners and my tutors. Uh, so that uh, so that my uh, speaking at the ability uh, uh, improves. Yes. Improves, yes. That's the best thing. I think uh, we are blessed to have, uh, or we are blessed to, uh, that we are in this era of technology where we can uh, get these kind of uh, opportunities. Otherwise, it wasn't uh, 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 an easy nut to crack, I would say, because. Uh, uh, now it's just because of technology that we are sitting here in front of each other and we can have these uh, conversations. So that's it. And you just mentioned that you have a daughter. So how old is she? Yes, uh, she is. Uh, she is uh, right now 20, uh, 23 years old. Uh, she is uh, okay. the studying the studying the MCA MC at KIT. Right now, right okay. now she is staying in the Bhuvaneshwar. Uh, uh, she is right. doing her masters there at. Uh, uh, she is in the first year uh, now. Now in the, the second semester, her second semester is going on. Uh, it will end. Uh, okay, so in does, the, uh, yeah. Huh? Yes. Okay. Yes, so does does she live with you, or she is studying uh, uh, somewhere else, or does she live with you no, no, here? No, she, uh, uh, in no, 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 no. She is. Uh, she. Uh, she is not living with me. Uh, I am. I am mm -hmm. living in at Calcutta, and she is now living at Bhuvaneshwar. Bhuvaneshwar. She is studying okay. at the KIT, Kalinga, uh, Kalinga mm -hmm. Institute of the Technology. Okay. Okay. So I was. I just uh, wanted to ask you. Do you have conversation with her in English? But uh, as you just mentioned, uh, that she doesn't live with you. So uh, yes, uh, sometimes, uh, sometimes, uh, sometimes I do hold a conversation with her, uh, yeah, in uh, English, but but not all the time, uh, because uh, because mm -hmm. when what happens uh, because of the pressure pressure to complete the study, she is also not uh, uh, finding uh, the enough time to talk with me, and and uh, mm -hmm. and I myself also do not uh, time uh, find any uh, enough time to uh, you converse yes. with him because. Uh, uh, because of my uh, nature of job, because uh, every mm -hmm. day, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, it uh, it it becomes uh, eight thirty to nine pm yes. to reach my op uh, reach home from office. Mm. So yes, uh, yes. the the time uh, there is a time positive uh, in my side also, and uh, and her side also. Uh, he uh, she was not also getting enough time to talk with him. But but yes, uh, sometimes uh, sometimes I do uh, uh, hold the conversation with him in uh, English, uh, so mm. uh, so that uh, it can improve uh, improve myself and also herself also. Okay, fine. So, uh, as you mentioned, sir, that you want to use good uh, vocabulary words in terms of idioms and phrases. So, I uh, want to share the tip uh, or trick what I used to do and still I do. Earlier, I, what I uh, used to do earlier, I, I used to jot down so many vocabulary words. But the oh. thing is, uh, sometimes or most of the time, we don't get those words uh, naturally. We, we have to think. Uh, so what I did, I uh, started choosing a topic first and now also I do the same. So just go for a topic first. Let's say uh, any topic, it can be happiness okay, or positive thinking. So just go for a topic first. Try to find uh, the idioms or phrases or vocabulary words related with that topic. You can easily go to Google. You can ask uh, uh, just I want to know or give me some advanced vocabulary phrases related the topic happiness or positive thinking. Google will give you so many idioms and phrases. Now choose maximum eight to nine. Maximum. OK, and then try to discuss that topic with your co-learners as you are having these kind of uh, interactions so you can uh, discuss uh, particular that topic okay let's just have a, a discussion on happiness and then try to recall all those five to six idioms or new words which you uh, have you know noticed or you, which you have uh, made a uh, list right then you will see initially 
of course initially uh, each and every world is not going to come you will you will have to struggle you will have you will juggle with the, you know in that recalling process but eventually while having these interactions one after one you will see now i am i can easily recall all those words and this is the best technique i would say because generally what we do we just make a list of any random words and then we don't uh, actually we hardly recall. use those words yes right but once you make a list of words those all those words which are related with a particular topic then you will never forget this is the trip uh, tip or trick i uh, used and still i use whenever i have uh, any topic in my mind so i go to google i try to find uh, vocabulary words i try to find four to five more more than sufficient for me and then i uh, whenever i have these kind of conversation i use those idioms and phrases during this conversation not only in one one two three four five so it's it's kind of i am repeating i am revising in this way i am revising all those idioms and phrases and then they are permanent so there are some there are certain idioms and phrases which i never forget which comes naturally while having interaction all these kind of uh, idioms and phrases come naturally let's say if you want to say to your uh, to your uh, daughter okay beta uh, you need to uh, study hard okay your exams are near and uh, you have to study hard so we can simply say okay beta your exams are around the corner now you need to pull up your socks okay all you need to learn the ropes hit the books burn the midnight oil these all idioms and phrases in meaning of all these idioms and phrases just to work hard to study hard but in this way choose the topic this is the best strategy learn the ropes means to clear your concepts hit the books study hard burn the midnight oil means uh, to uh, wake up late night and to work hard be it, uh, be it for your project or for your exam so this is the best strategy i used this and still i use this and not do not just think that you use in your uh, one con uh, one interaction or two keep on using keep on using and this is the best method i i can suggest you to add more idioms and phrases uh, now you you have you are having interaction uh, with the clapping go or uh, english yari tutor so you can easily adapt these uh, Uh, trips tips uh, because they give you topic for discussion so what you can do whenever you get a topic go to google find uh, certain sets of words or idioms related to that topic and if you are able to use two idioms or two phrases or two new words with your tutor you are good to go this, this is uh, this this technique is going to help you very very at effective and at valuable tips and yeah, suggestion madam you have provided i think uh, it will surely work for me yes uh, yes, yes. Uh, so uh, so from today onwards uh, i shall start searching the uh, uh, yeah, uh, one topic in the, the google and try to find out the idioms and the synonyms uh, or the related words yes Uh, uh, right. About this regarding these topics and try to memorize it and uh, uh, at at best I think that first uh, initially I I should start uh, writing down in a notebook. Uh, yes, and, uh, if you and 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 have to revise it uh, uh, on uh, every single day or uh, or every alternate yes. day. Yes. Otherwise, uh, exactly. it will not uh, it will not uh, easily uh, but uh, it will not be mm. easy to recollect. recollecting during right, the time sir. of the conversation exactly and second thing see you uh, you have your uh, conversation with tutors of course they give you a topic so what can you do uh, you as you as i told you first you need to find words or idioms uh, just imagine you have a discussion or you just uh, there is a topic um, internet on internet so just imagine Uh, you have one conversation with your tutor you are done with that topic with your tutor uh, of english yari or clapping go now next time when you mail someone to have a conversation on skype app you can ask that person would you mind having discussion on this topic 
or let's just discuss on this topic the same topic you already discussed in this way you will be you will be able to present yourself more confidently and you in a way you are revising all the things so you can do this trick also right whenever you have these kind of conversation on skype try to discuss a particular topic that will also help you okay yes. okay so these little little steps are very helpful i used and still i am using because language learning is is an endless journey never you end. you never, never end yes process. yes never right never you you process. can never say yes, yes you can never yes. say that now i am perfect i know everything no what uh, we what, need to update what happens what happens sometimes uh, it feels that uh, it is a very very easy task suppose mm. uh, suppose uh, i have i have felt uh, what is the problem it is uh, uh, in the in the month of the august last last mm-hmm. year uh, i was uh, uh, i was uh, uh, was uh, have, uh, i was attended one seminar i was attended mm-hmm. one seminar of my office so there there was asked to say something about a topics so i thought uh, previously i thought that it is a very easy to represent mm-hmm. myself uh, in front of the large audience but when the when the time came up at the uh, at the material uh, at the real time when mm-hmm. i was about to deliver something i was stammered a lot so so i felt very bad that uh, it was uh, it was happened mm-hmm. in the month of the september so from that time okay. i i i took the uh, took the eighth uh, resolution that uh, i have to uh, gain mm-hmm. some uh, command i have to gain some command yes. over the language so that is why i have started taking the classes and trying to join the more people that to tutors or to co-learners so that uh, my mm-hmm. uh, my fluency uh, is at uh, to be improved and to be honed up so that is why yes sometimes Actually, sometimes what, uh, what what happens the right type of words and the right sentences do not come at the right point of time it gets stuck exactly. it uh, it gets stuck in the tongue so mm, uh, i think yes. i think that this is purely because of the uh, lack of practice or uh, lack of uh, practice right sir it, there are so many teachers uh, who are masters in english they are pretty good at their subject they teach english very nicely they are uh, pretty good at grammatical concepts but they are not good speakers because lack of practice we don't use this language in our daily life uh yes. usage right I, as i told you i i take uh, online sessions so i deal with uh, uh, different age groups but the thing is i am restricted restricted there because i am telling the same thing i am teaching them either grammar grammar or daily use vocabulary but the thing is sometimes i had uh, i have to use hindi because not everyone is able to understand complete conversation in english so uh, i also as you mentioned that you were in that uh, frame of mind that i would be able to present myself very confidently here so i also had the same thought okay if i got a chance to have a conversation with anyone i would be uh, flawless or i would be fluent but it actually uh, didn't happen doesn't happen J- uh, let's yes yes uh, I- i'm talking about uh, my situation actually i had a- an experience that's the reason i'm using a past tense here so i had a conversation with my son's teacher and i wasn't able to explain express myself the way i wanted to though somehow i managed i i managed the whole conversation but i wasn't happy with my uh, the words i chose there or the way i presented myself so that was the time then i thought no no i had to uh, repolish or I, i had to polish my communic- communication skills and i have to brush up my knowledge so that's the reason i uh, started my youtube channel and i started I, having conversations i have heard uh, heard uh, your story what you are telling to me today 
you have also told, but I have heard uh, you are telling this story to someone else uh, in the YouTube. Uh, <laughs> yes, you, I, you, you, yes. <laughs> I have actually, uh, I have personally shared my story also. And many times when people ask me, how did you start your channel? What was the difficulties or hurdles? So sometimes it just uh, the thing. Now these things just come naturally. See, there was a time when I wasn't able to tell about myself in a confident way. But now, beat my introduction, beat my story. I just speak this <laughs> like tables. <laughs> so it happens. It's just a matter of practice. That is it. And repetition. That's it. So, okay. So it was a really nice interaction nice. with you. And uh, yes, keep on practicing. And uh, I hope to see you very soon. And uh, next time we'll discuss a topic for sure. Yes. I'm, uh, I, I am okay. also eagerly waiting to have a session with you. Uh, so, uh, okay, so uh, okay. uh, actually, what happens? Uh, I do. I do really love to uh, uh, see the yeah, videos what you have posted in mm -hmm. the YouTube, because because of the only reason is that you are so fluent, and and you are using the idioms. Uh, mm -hmm. I have. Uh, I have uh, also. I have had the. I was at Cloud Nine. Ah, uh, when I uh, when I, I saw cloud. this yes. uh, cloud and uh, mm. <laughs> and uh, and uh, yesterday yesterday uh, yeah, was my uh, the holiday because of the the fourth Saturday. Uh, I was uh, mm -hmm. I was uh, uh, I was uh, with my wife visited a park that is called the eco park and uh, I was okay. uh, there uh, there was uh, yeah, listening one of your uh, the YouTube videos and uh, and uh, and you uh, used one uh, the idiom it is a hanky dory something. Hunky-dory, yes. Hunky -dory. Uh, everything so, is hunky-dory. Hunky-dory means everything, everything is okay, fine. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, and, yes. uh, and I'm not and, hesitating. Uh, all these words uh, you are using, uh, this is uh, really so nice. Uh, so uh, that is why uh, I always so longing for uh, see your uh, the videos, YouTube videos only. So Thank you, you so really, much. Really Thank you are really good in English. You are really good in English. Thank you. So, uh, uh, yes. Uh, Madam, uh, if you uh, if you do me favor, if you uh, if you uh, if you uh, if you do uh, if you give the another session or another two to three session and yes. whenever you find time, of course, then, uh, I will I will message I will mail you, right? Okay. Uh, because I think you are working, so we can have, have session on uh, weekends, Saturday or Sunday. Saturday so. Or Sunday. Saturday, not not but yes. every Saturday because uh, because Sat since uh, I am uh, I have better doing the service in the bank in a nationalized bank. Okay, okay. So no so problem. it will be better no it will be Sunday. better to me uh, uh, Sunday and second and fourth Saturday. If uh, okay. uh, I, it uh, it generally remains the holiday uh, in the bank in the second and the fourth Saturday. If the second and fourth Saturday and the all Sundays and. I no worries, no worries. So, I'll uh, mail you and we'll discuss a topic. Okay, okay so uh, have a good day, I would say, and see you again. Same to you.